So saddle was in a bad shape. Uh, it had a typical wear on both ends. I ended up sending it out uh, to the local machine shop for uh, surface grinding, and they did a fantastic job. It's within a few tens, maybe even one, one or two tens. So, uh, but they end up taking around seven tau from top and bottom. So, what I have, in, what I have, in, uh, what I am planning since between surface grinding and wear, we are we are miss we are losing at least ten to fifteen tau of thickness. So I'm going to apply uh, turkide on saddle and scrape it and uh, go from there. For turkite to stick to the surface very well, we can have a very smooth surface, so we're go I'm go just going to rough it up and uh, clean it up with alcohol and uh, apply it. Okay, now I'm going to mix the epoxy. This is Vailock 2, two part epoxy, 50-50. And I'm going to use a very precise scale. So this way, we know we're doing everything right. So you wanna make sure mix each of these guys at least for two minutes individually with different uh, mixing uh, stick. Okay, so 45 gram of that. I'm gonna add this until we hit 90. So that will give us 50, 50. That's like piling. can roll, use this kind of roller to push out any air bubbles that might trap under it. Okay, it's all done. I have a bunch of weight on it, just uh, keep it downward. Uh, one thing to mention, my, uh, my table wasn't very level, so I caught it a little bit er uh, kind of early, so it, the whole part was uh, sliding off and uh, all those uh, turkite was uh, misaligned, so I cut it uh, quickly and fixed it. So just, just keep that in mind if you're putting this on some sort of surface, make sure it's nicely level. Okay, see you guys in 24 hours. Right, let's take our first print. This thing is heavy by the time I'm done with this. I'm going to have amazing biceps. That hinging up there.
and this hinging up here. So we'll see what we get. Okay, here it is, uh, our first print. I'm getting nice bluing here, a few contact here, and this side a little bit more. Not bad for first print, so let's uh, attack those high points and go from there. All right, this side is done, and uh, just going to flip it over and do the other side. For carbide, I am actually using my, uh, not my regular one, this is the grind, the, the 12 degree negative for carbide, uh, for uh, turkide, and also all these pockets are, uh, they are much deeper than when you, uh, when you uh, scrape cast iron, so these are at least one and a half or two tau deep. That's why when it comes to turkide, you don't need any uh, flaking for oil. Now, this side is dialed in, and I am almost done with the back side. But before we finish that, I just want to make sure to zero this up here. And I come into other end. So this side is up by one tau. So that's up by two tau. And this is almost by three. Basically, what we have, this is our zero, and we have slope like this going on. But that's not from this surface. It's from the back surface. Flip the part. I'm just going to double check, make sure the error it was giving me, it is it checks out from this here. So if what we read was correct, this should be our lowest point. So I'm going to put that R0, okay? Now, moving to the other side. That reads around five tenths high, okay? Now, we're gonna move it here, which is supposed to be our highest side, or highest point. And yep, that checks out. So around two and a half tau higher. Zero, five tenths, two tau, and two and a half tau. So basically, I'm just going to uh, step scrape this. Just take maybe two pass from here and light pass and uh, tune it in. What I did uh, pretty much, I went two heavy pass on those high side and I matched them to this uh, our zero point, and this is the print I'm getting now. So once I take these two high uh, cluster out, uh, we should be uh, nice and flat. Again, I'm going to zero it down right here. Let's move over here. That's one tenth. Okay, now here. One tenth. And zero. That is it. I'm gonna call that pretty much perfect. And this Z pattern, I'm gonna cut for an oil groove and use this, uh, just, I just took this old screwdriver and grind it 45 degree sharp edge to cut the turkite.
worst part of this meal is the table. It has a four turbo uh, on top. And on the back on rails, there's a, at least five to six tau where right in the center. So we have a kind of nice uh, arch like this. And uh, so this is going to be the toughest part to work with. So we'll come up with the plan for this one. I end up sending it to a local machine shop and they, they skim this around 10 tau from this side, from both sides, and then also they kind of flatten the uh, top side of the table. They did such a great job, so I don't have to do too much of scraping. So uh, I'm gonna run one or two pass and take some prints and see what we can do. The only issue I have, my straight edge is only 36 inches, so a few inches shorter than table, so I'm gonna have to work one end, other end, and try to merge them as best as I can. Okay, here's the initial print. A lot of contact area, except we have a high spot here, and then we have a little bit of high spot in this side. Nothing major, just few tens. So I'm just gonna take a few more passes and see how it goes. Okay, after a few passes, I put spotting die on the saddle side and trying to match those two surfaces. That's the ultimate goal we have. And things are looking pretty good. Have a lot of nice uh, contact here. Again, this is a result of uh, Machine Shop doing a fantastic job on machining these two surfaces for me. So I'm very thankful. Let's do a few more passes and uh, get this tuned in. Okay, so I'm starting this side. This is the this is the side that is going to sit on the saddle, which there is no gap. So, so we're gonna get this thing super flat and match it to a saddle surface, and go from there. And, and go from there. I've gone a couple passes. Let's take a quick print. See what happens. I'm not sure if it's showing or not. Those are the high spots, very rough. So I gotta take quite a bit from the uh, center of this surface. Now, I'm trying to see, although this is very early in this stage, I have put some uh, spotting dye on saddle side, which is done. And I'm gonna rub against uh, table side and see uh, uh, roughly if I'm kind of in the right path. I don't wanna have, I don't wanna change the angle too much. So basically I'm just going to have these guys meet in the center, rub against it to see what kind of spotting we're getting based on the saddle. After all, these guys are gonna live together, right? So they better have a better, uh, they better have a nice mating surface. Let's see. I'm getting some spotting there. So look like it, I haven't changed the angle because I'm getting uh, spotting from this edge to outer edge to inner edge. So we are kind of in the right path. I'm just gonna uh, keep going with the roughing passes.
Okay, table, table is back on. Uh, I must apologize, I lost some of my scraping videos. So, uh, back of table took me many, many hours to get it dialed in. But I lost some of my uh, measurement and uh, some of hand scraping videos. Anyhow, it looks good now. And I Well, this is the last piece of our puzzle. So I'm just doing final passes of the skip. There's some high spots, I'm just gonna knock those down. But overall looking pretty good I have basically surface touching all over the place so which is great okay everything been assembled and fit together everything all looped and ready to go now let's see if we achieve what we were planning to achieve so I have granite square on table and I'm uh, swooping the axe axis with my tense indicator. All right, so we know we got that zero. So I'm just gonna bring table to center and I'm going to turn my indicator and set it up on Y axis. Let's go zero this in. Okay, y axis is zero. Now let's uh, sweep this, see what we get. Manual in this machine calling for six to eight pens within 12 inches. So that's one, two. That's the roughly around two or three tenths. Wow. I am very happy. All right, this is it. Uh, it took me a long time, but finally we brought this machine to uh, its uh, original glory. And I hope to enjoy this machine 40 more years. So I'm just going to add other bits and pieces and bring this back and start making some parts and some videos. Thank you for watching and see you next time.